Hi guys, this is Fly Snow. Today I will explain how to control volume of a music file in Java. So let's start. Okay, first create a res folder. Uh, res and uh, we're gonna put music file. So we're gonna put this music file in this res folder. And then uh, let me create a simple GUI. All right, uh, that's it. That's everything. Okay, so this is the simplest GUI to check this volume up, volume down, and mute the volume. Okay, then uh, let's import this sound file. So, yeah, sound file uh, URL, sound URL equal get class get resources and inside we're gonna type the file path and since it's inside of this resource folder we're gonna type uh, backslash and sound bossanova uh, by the way this is a free sound so you can download it if you want so I think I'm gonna put the link in the description and now we're going to create another class for sound and inside of this sound we're going to do uh, you know all the sound stuff so if you have watched my previous uh, sound tutorial then uh, i think like 70% of this class is identical so uh, feel free to skip um, if you feel you know it's something you already know so okay anyway let me create this class uh, we're gonna create float i'm gonna name this uh, previous volume equal zero and another float uh, current volume volume equal zero and also we're gonna use this class float control fc and also boolean mute false all right and a method void set file url url uh, try uh, audio input stream sound equal audio system dot get audio of uh, audio input stream and the URL. Okay. Let's take care of this catch first. Show E. And then clip equal audio system dot get clip. Clip dot open sound. Then we're going to use this fc equal uh, float control clip dot get control float control dot type dot master gain okay this set file is done and uh, we're gonna create a play method URL, URL, to play music 
So to play music, we're gonna set playing position zero. So start from the beginning and start. So now we can play the music and then uh, yeah we're not we are not gonna use this method probably this time but uh, I'm gonna type it anyway so loop so this is a loop function loop continuously so you can loop the music and also stop function url url uh, just uh, stop, stop so this is uh, so you can stop the music by calling this method so i have done this before in my previous tutorial but uh, now we're gonna create something new so first another method volume volume up and uh, also volume down and also volume mute okay so first volume up so if we call this method current volume plus 1.0f we're gonna handle the volume with this float variable because this float control accepts you know float float number so then if statement if current volume is more than 6.0 then current volume equal uh, 6.0 f because uh, 6 is the maximum gain of this float control so if it's more than 6 then uh, this float control returns an error so we have to keep it below 6 okay and then uh, float control set value so we're gonna set this current volume All right and then we we're gonna take care of this um, volume down so current volume minus 1.0 f and also we need set this if statement so if current volume is less than minus 80 because uh, you know lowest number that this float control accepts is 80 uh, minus 80 so uh, current volume equal minus 80 otherwise you know without this if statement it returns an error yeah. and so we set value and current volume and then uh, we're gonna take care of this mute so if mute equal false then uh, so I created this a previous volume because uh, we we need to remember the volume before we mute the music so we store this current volume and then uh, current volume equal 80.0f so this basically means uh, no sound and set value current volume and mute equal true 
but、uh, when we disable this mute status, then、uh, we want to restore the volume. So,、uh, true, then,、uh, okay. Current volume equal previous volume. So, we restore the volume we, you know, we stored here. And、uh, if she dot set value current volume, then mute equal false. And I think wait the flick volume、hmm? set value. <laughs> What am I doing? Set value.、Uh, okay. And that's everything. About this sound class, so let's go back to this main class. Public void play music URL URL. Ah, also, let's instantiate this sound class here. Sound new sound. So, sound.set file, first set file,、uh, URL, okay, and sound.play, URL, and sound.loop, and URL. And finally, we're gonna send this sound URL to this play music. So, play music,、uh, sound URL. All right, and、uh, okay, and also we're gonna add action listener to these three buttons. So, first is volume up B, add action listener, action performed, and here, so if you Press this、uh, volume up button, then now we're gonna call volume up. Wait, volume up, volume down, B. Also, action listener. Press this volume down button, then、uh, it's gonna call volume down. And finally, this mute button. So mute B dot add. Action is now. So if you press this mute button, then uh, uh, volume. Mute. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything. So let's check it. I made a mistake.、Uh, yeah, sorry, this is not、uh, 80, but minus 80. And okay, so、uh, to check that,、uh, let me、uh, type something. Current volume. Okay, let's check it. Alright, so. Okay, first volume down, pressing volume down. Yeah, and volume up. Disable mute.、Mm. Okay. 
Yep, it's working, I think. Yep, so that's everything. So that's how you control the sound file's volume. So thanks for watching and see you again. Bye.